Your doctor has recommended surgery to repair your child's droopy eyelid, or ptosis. Ptosis is when the eyelid droops over the eye, partly or even completely blocking vision. Ptosis is often caused by weakness of the muscles that raise the eyelid. Sometimes ptosis develops if the nerves controlling those muscles are damaged or if the skin on the upper eyelids becomes loose. Whether your child was born with ptosis or it happened because of an injury or disease, it is important to treat it. Otherwise, your child's vision may not develop properly. In most cases, ptosis surgery for children is done as an outpatient procedure and he or she can go home afterwards. The type of surgery your child's ophthalmologist will use to repair the droopy lid depends on how weak your child's eyelid muscle is. Your child will be given general anesthesia so that he or she is deeply asleep during surgery. To repair ptosis or a droopy eyelid in a child, the surgeon decides which procedure is best based on the weakness of the eyelid muscle. If the muscle is very weak, a frontalis suspension may be used. If the muscle has some strength, a levator resection may be used. During a levator resection, the child's eye surgeon makes an opening through the crease of the eyelid. Then the surgeon shortens the muscle that lifts the lid. This makes the muscle tighter, bringing the eyelid back up into a normal position. During a frontalis suspension procedure, the eye surgeon makes a series of small openings in the brow and in the eyelid. Then the surgeon places a special material through those incisions and uses it to connect the eyelid to the brow. Once your child has fully healed, he or she will learn to lift the eyelid by using the brow muscle. Your child's eyelid may still droop after surgery. It can take a few weeks for the eyelid to reach its final position. Your child will have follow-up visits with the ophthalmologist to check the position of the eyelid and make sure it is healing properly. As with any surgery, there are possible risks with ptosis surgery. Ptosis surgery risks can include unusual bruising or swelling after surgery, infection of the eyelid, the need for additional surgery, uneven eyelid height, overcorrection or undercorrection of eyelid height, dryness of the cornea, and stiffness of the eyelid and the eyelid not closing completely when looking down. The only way to fully repair ptosis is with surgery. Your child does not have to have ptosis repair. However, a significantly droopy eyelid that blocks vision can lead to poor eyesight in one or both eyes. If you have any questions or concerns about the procedure, ask your pediatric ophthalmologist. He or she will be happy to help you understand the risks and benefits of ptosis surgery for your child. Also, if you have any questions or concerns about your child's eyes or vision in general, don't hesitate to bring them up. Your ophthalmologist is committed to protecting your child's sight.